Welcome to Track Time by Race Crews. We're going to be racing 16 models from the 2015 P Case assortment of Hot Wheels. I'm going to be using quite a few of the track builder accessories. Here you have the clamp. What's great about the clamp is that it's also a bridge. Look, I use one for a bridge right there. I use one for a bridge right there. There's a white bridge in the back. Uh, this one right here, this is another track builder part. I did a review on that as well. You probably recognize some of these parts. Let's get the boosters on and start track time. Up first, let's do Rogue Hog. Nice glow in the dark wheels. And here he goes. Can he make it? Woo! That's one lap. Oh, maybe a lap and a half. I'm going to mark him right here on this curve and we know that he did a whole lap plus went to here now let's do the cadillac el mirage nice paint long body let's see how he does in this setup oh that long body didn't do good in the loops let's try him again say go nah no loops you can stay right there let's try ferradox he has glow-in-the-dark wheels just like Rogue Hog did. He's from the Hot Wheels Night Storm series. Let's see if he can do at least a lap and make it past Rogue Hog over there. Uh-oh. Let's give him another chance. What's going on? We have a little separation. Let's get this together. Another thing we have, let's make sure that we uh, pinch this so that he doesn't nick this edge. Let's try him again. Go! Oh, he made it his lap. He's going after Rogog. He passes him. Bonk. I'm glad we fixed the track for you. Now it's time for the Camaro convertible concept. Not my favorite wheels. I'm not a big fan of convertibles, but it's nice to have them for the collection. Made the loop. Another loop. Three loops. Oh, wipe out in the curve. Let's see if it can do better than that spot over there. Hey, he made a lap. Can you do it? Go, go. Oh, nice job. Here's your ticket, and we'll give you a marker. Time for Batman. Batman, Arkham Asylum, Batmobile. Oh, that wasn't very impressive. Wipe out. I'm surprised because he's usually pretty good. Well, he got a little better. One more time. I knew he'd make a lap. Upside down. Hey, wake up. We got a video to do. How about the Fiat 500? I've used them in track time before, and he did work in the boosters, loops, and curves, but sometimes that tall metal body might give him trouble on the track. Let's see how he does today. See, that's what I was thinking in the curves, because he has a higher center of gravity. Sometimes he flops over. Second chance. Oh, right on top of Cadillac El Mirage. You can do it. Hey, 
Hey, no shortcuts. You got to earn your way all the way around. Last chance or his spot's in the corner, literally. Get in the corner. You're in timeout. Hey, let's do grease rod. He's from the Team Hot Wheels Build the Epic Race. He's long too, like the Cadillac El Mirage. Let's see if he can do better. Oh, one lap. Woo, that's pretty good. Nice job. Your spot's here, plus you did a lap. Now let's try the 68 Shelby GT500. Not necessarily a track car, but that's what track time is. We test different cars to see how they do on the track. Go. Oh no, that's embarrassing. You're supposed to be a fast car and you wind up right next to Fiat 500, but you get another chance. Second chance. Third chance, if he doesn't pass the Fiat in the corner, that'll be his mark. Well, I guess he's pooped out. You couldn't do better than a Fiat? Come on. How about two-timer? He's a track star, but I don't know about that long body. Sometimes the curves give him difficulty. Set, go. Oh, yeah, he made a lap. Oh, he's going for two. Here you go. Here's your pass for one lap. And he hit the curve. He caused it to separate. Let's tighten it up. While we're here, let's go ahead. Yeah, this one's doing pretty good. Time for a real car, the Mazda RX-7. Now, if you didn't see this color in the stores, that's because it was a Kmart exclusive in the USA. Let's see how an import car does. Oh, he lost some speed in the loop. He does have a low front end or a low splitter, as you might say. That's good for splitting the air while he's driving fast, but not so good for loops. Second chance. Whoa! He barely made it through the loop and just had enough speed. Oh, he made a lap. Oh, my. Go, go, go. Oh, right behind the Camaro. We know we did one lap. We're going to put a marker here, and then we're going to give him one last chance and see if he can beat that mark. I guess he just wants that mark. I still have some cars to do. I'll be right back after this break. Now it's time for a high-tech missile. He's definitely a fantastic track car. I'm sure everybody's expecting him to do really well. Go green. Wow, he came out of the loop funny. Let's check that loop. Let's check the track that leads into it. Everything looks connected, connected. Looks pretty good. Everything's connected. I don't know. Come back. Second chance. One lap. Oh. Here's your mark. One lap, and let's try you again. Last chance. One lap plus. Ah! Hey, right next to Rogue Hog. Nice job, high tech missile. Bentley Continental Super Sports. Mm, not my favorite wheels, but I guess some people like them. Oh, he did make a lap. Here's your mark. Let's try you again. I didn't think he was going to make it. Oh, he gets a lap again, and he furthers his mark. 
So even though he's over there with the Cadillac, he gets a one lap marker to go with him. 69 Chevelle. Even though he's a real licensed model, this is an X Racers version, classic body, metal base. He should do pretty good. Oh, does that count as a lap? Well, check in the instant replay. He did not make it to the line. He fell off the track before that lap marker. We know his spot's right there. Here we go, another chance. Oh, that loop's giving him trouble. Here we go, one more chance to see if he can earn the blue marker. There you go, you earned it on your own, buddy. We got a crowd going over here. Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. I'm sure you're looking at this car and you know why it's not gonna be successful on a certain part of the track. You know, don't you? Yeah, you knew. That's why I had one camera focused right on that loop because I knew too. His mark is right before the curve. Oh, a little further. <laughs> Let's see if he can make it to the straightaway. Maybe not. You need a track that doesn't have loops. We'll save you for last because you should be good. 74 Brazilian Dodge Charger. Oh, I seen it. I, I seen his tail come out in the loop. Again, again. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. I got to see the slow mo on that one. So far as Mark is right there at the clamp. Again, or is he just showing off? Go. There you go. We're gonna set you right here. There's your mark, but you don't get a blue badge because you didn't do a lap. Nitro tailgater. Says track stars right on the package. Let's see. He's giving Feral Docs the evil eye. I'm coming for you. Well, not if you're gonna do that. Go. Made it to the loop. Blows by Ferrodox one time, but can he do it a second time? Oh, ho, ho. he gets marks right next to two timer. After I did some track adjusting, Ferrodox did well. He did a whole lap and almost made it around to a second lap. I was glad to see Grease Rod do well. I'm going to race him again. These two I just showed you. A nice trio of cars that did a lap. Mm, you might have been had a chance. I'm surprised that the Fiat 500 didn't make a lap. Let's give a thumbs up for the Camaro and the Mazda for doing a lap. And maybe you're just a show car and not a track car. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll just set up a track without loops. The Bentley did a lap. The Cadillac mm, did a nap. And the Batmobile, he got a marker as well. Wait a second. Did he pass this point once or twice? Let's look at that again. I knew he'd make a lap. Upside down. Sorry about that Arkham Asylum Batmobile. You definitely passed the line, and I should have given you two, because you did two laps, and you made it to here. What? Why aren't you happy? Oh, dude. No, 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 no. You're the wrong Batmobile to be taking on that guy. That guy, he's uh, much too powerful. You better leave him alone. 
Ah, okay. Maybe in the future you guys will get to compete. That's a little sneak peek for my viewers. In the meantime, how about I get some of the cars from this video? Let's see if I can get more than one going around the track. Let me try these three first. Camaro. Mazda. Batmobile. Mazda, go! <laughs> Next. Here we go. Now I'm going to spread them out a little bit. That gives the boosters a chance to speed back up. Oh, what happened? Paradox, get off the track! Two timer. Grease rod. Chevelle. And nitro tailgater. Uh oh. Get him, get him! Boom! I just noticed that track wasn't straight coming out of the booster. That's why a couple cars crashed into the curve. You might have noticed from your camera angle, but for me on the side, I didn't notice. More! Uh-oh! Wipe out. I put in new batteries in all my boosters. Let's see if that helps. Since I have two boosters slamming cars straight into a curb, I'm going to use this clamp to raise up one side to give it a better chance to catch the car. I don't have to lift this curb because the booster sends the car into a loop and the car starts to slow down so it doesn't hit the curb so hard. Here we go, new batteries. Ah, come on. Oh, that corner again. Let's see if you'll bump Rogue Hog. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoy my track time presentations. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Share the video and the channel with your friends. Oh, off the track. So that means we can keep racing. Anyways, have fun with your cars. Rogue Hog, what are you doing? Oh, you're safe. Bye-bye. Too much power in that corner from that booster. Bye-bye.